Hit that split squat. Now, we're going to come down for three seconds. We're going to hold three, two, one. We're going to come up three, two, one. Now, notice my stance. I'm just going to go through this, and I'm going to chat with you this first round. Um, I can see my big toe and my front foot, so super important, all right, that my knee is tracking towards the middle of the outside of my shoe. If my knee collapses in, it can be one, uncomfortable, and then two, it just means that your glute needs are really turning off. We want them on, okay? So pushing and driving into that heel. Second, notice my back ankle is rotated out away from my body. That will mean that my hips are square forward. That ankle shouldn't be on the inside. You can see how my hip moved, okay? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Nice. So now we got all the tricks for a really good split squat. Let's take it to the other leg. All right, ankle rotating up. I'm pushing my foot into the floor. I can see my big toe, tuck the tailbone. Let's go. Two, one. Two, one. Two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. All right, keep that going on in your head. Nice and slow. Remember, we're holding an inch or two above the floor. Imagine there's a tiny little egg underneath your knee. You don't want to crack the egg. So don't drop that knee to the floor. All right? Beautiful. If you have a hard time with balance as well, I'd almost encourage you to do this without shoes. You can take your shoes off and really let your foot feel the floor. Or socks. Yeah, or socks. Shout out to Manny. Three, two, one. Okay, crew. So. We're gonna get those uh, wrist weights. If you haven't, go ahead uh, and throw them on already. All right.